This business here of me building a salt trees, my wife and I decided to do this. It basically has become something I love to do. I'm literally in this shop sometimes from 7 in the morning till 10, 10.30 at night. I'd much rather be doing this instead of sitting in front of a TV in the evenings. One of the most common questions that we are asked at shows is, where did the psaltery come from? Uh, actually, back in the Bible, back in Psalms, they were listed in the Bible as a plucked psaltery. Back then, they were more of a trapezoid shape, and that way you could get both hands in there and pluck them. Around 1948, a German violinist brought one to the United States for the first time, changed the shape, brought it more to a point, triangular shape, to a, that way he can apply a, a bow to it, a violin bow. And he used this to teach his young students proper bowing technique. So they've been in the uh, United States since around 1948. Six years ago, we were at Dulcimer Days down at Roscoe Village in Coshocton, Ohio. And I kept walking by this lady's booth, Greg and Tish Westman, great builders out of Beckley, West Virginia. I loved the sound of their instrument. And at the end of the day, I walked by and I turned around and said, I want to buy that CD. I almost walked by them. And, but that CD literally changed our lives. How was this leaper changed from playing a psaltery to wanting to learn to build one? Basically, I was ready for a career change. I was a contractor for 30 years. I think anybody I've ever talked to after they've done something for 30 years, they're ready to move on to something different. The same with me. So about a year before I actually built my first psaltery, they just started working in my brain. I wanted to try this. So every penny I made the year before I started building my first one, I saved up, built this shop, bought all this equipment, and in my mind I was trying to think what piece of equipment I would need. So I got it all basically at the same time after I built the building. And then I learned to build my first uh, psaltery. It was a big risk, and uh, especially income-wise, knowing what I was making before to not sure what my future would be now. Uh, and that's basically how I started to think about building psalteries or why. We get a lot of compliments that shows on the sound of our instruments and it boils down to three basic reasons that I tell people about our sound. One is the, the top board is called your sound board and I only use Sitka spruce. I actually have a guy in Alaska that goes out and cuts that for me and dries it and ships it to me. Uh, spruce gives you a nice mellow sound. Uh, I've tried cedar and a few other ones and it's a much richer sound brighter sound and I like the sound of the uh, soft Sitka spruce so that's the first thing the second thing is <clears throat> I use three different string gauges uh, throughout the instrument uh, thin thicker thickest up here if I tried to run this thin wire all the way up to the top here uh, on these long strings, the string doesn't have enough mass. So by using three different string gauges, it helps give it a more even sound, vibration. Uh, and the third thing, and I think it's the most important thing, if you could see these pin spacings here, they're not equal distance the whole way. They actually get wider as the string gets longer. The frets on a guitar get wider as the string gets longer. It has to do with something called string math theory. Um, you have to have an exact distance from this pin here, which is called your hitch pin, to the bridge to get the correct vibration at 440 hertz. So that's why I stagger these. They will get wider as the string gets longer, and that way you have your correct vibrational length to get a good vibrational sound out of the instrument. Every so often a person will ask me, How, is this a hard instrument to play? And I just almost have to grin because it literally is probably the easiest instrument you'll learn to play. Uh, simply, if you can play a piano one finger at a time, that's all you're doing here is playing one note at a time on the psaltery with, with the bow. Um, it's simply one soft stroke, lift, go back and forth, one soft stro stroke and lift and it's that simple.
If you're interested in looking at one of these instruments, you can contact us at springcreeksaltries.com or my phone number, uh, area code 330-323-0618. I try to answer the phone as often as I can. If the machines aren't running, I'll call you back if, if I don't answer. Uh, and when you come to a show, we'll have a booth set up, a 10 by 10 tent, and we'll have many instruments there on display. We'll be playing, and then we'll show you how simply these are to play. We'll have you playing a song literally within minutes. Uh, and when you come, you'll get to look at the different varieties of the wood. Uh, I explained the three different things about the sound on the top. All my tops are Sitka spruce, but I like to mix up and use exotic woods on the sides and on the back. Um, and we probably have a dozen different varieties for you to choose from. Plus also, where the sound comes out, that's called your sound hole here, I have different rosettes that I use and everybody seems to have a different like of what type of rosette they choose. So, and I could also custom make you one too. Um, but feel free to come out to one of our shows. Uh, you're welcome to sit down by our tent, inside the tent, and just sit there and play all day. Don't even expect you to buy one, but if you just want to come out and sit and have fun, that's what we're all about.